St. Peter's Church, in the parish of Little Worley, Essex, is to be found just a stone's throw to the south of the main London to South End arterial road. St. Peter's is a fairly small church, with a brick west tower built in 1718, as is apparent by a carved stone on its west face. Much of the church has been rebuilt using red brick during a 19th century restoration. The chancel, however, dates from the early 16th century, and there is still much of the original 15th century ragstone nave in existence. The timber south porch dates from around 1500, The north side of the chancel is heavily buttressed, this work having been undertaken after the original 16th century build. The amount of buttressing is unusual, as is the mixture of styles in such close proximity. Inside, the lancet windows in the east wall are imposing and the box pews add to the antiquated appeal of this church. One of our first family outings with the new son, and I've brought them to uh, what's actually one of my favourite churches in Essex. And it doesn't really look like a great deal, but that's kind of a lot of the appeal to me. You look at the floor stones, absolutely covered in mould and mildew from the damp. This church is pretty old and it's in need of some work, but it's obviously loved because it's still in use. In some ways it's quite parallel with some of the redundant churches you might go and see. The smell in here is, is uh, rescindent of those churches, but it's got some fine monuments in it. This one here could almost be found in one of the much bigger churches in other parts of the county. The detail is incredible. Of course, being a small church, there are chairs to fall over when you're not looking and when you're filming. Lovely arms at the top. It's an unusual church, it's just a yards from the main south end to London dual carriageway. But worth a visit. Looks like this monument is to the struts. Dorothy Strutt being one of them, so I would guess that the arms that we saw at the top and the arms that we see here are for the Strutt family. But the detail, even on the inside of the canopy at the top, is just incredible. Gold leaf patterning, it could almost be in a four poster bed with the detail to the fabric in the stonework and the monument on the south side of the chancel says here lieth the body of Dame Mary Strutt daughter and heir of Thomas Chapman of London Esquire who departed life on the 4th of August 1658 at the rather sorry age of 32 and there is Mary Strutt quite a large woman considering uh, food would have been scarcer in those days. Obviously one of the richer people around. The congregation's small today. In fact, I don't really know how regular the services are here. But there's uh, two people at the back of the church today, very special to me. And that is Julie, my wife. And although you can't see him at the moment, in the pram, which he is intently rocking, is our 
young son William, who is two weeks and three days old. Sometimes in churches you, you do find the strangest things, and I don't mean the electronic organ, that's probably quite a commonplace element. What does seem strange, however, is uh, just tucked into the rude stairs, at the base of the rude stairs appears to be an old car seat, obviously for the comfort of the vicar during those long sermons. <laughs> 